So Birmingham get us underway in their chain strip for the evening. They're wearing yellow shirts because, of course, they clash with Gillingham, who wear the all blue. It's broken kindly for Gillingham. Akinbaye is two against two. Important challenge evaded by Ablett. Eventually, across by Akinbaye. Gets a second chance. It's across the goal mouth. It must be. No! Butler with a touch. And Hesenthaler couldn't follow the ball in. And so close to Gillingham scoring the opening goal. That important challenge came in from O'Connor. But it was across the face of the goal mouth. Butler with that touch. Hesenthaler couldn't get there before Bennett pounced. That's again. Robinson has continued his run. Can he be found by Devlin? Devlin still going by himself. Now looking to get the cross in. They got a deflection. Furlong with a header. Moss was beaten, but Furlong couldn't keep it down. And towards Butler. Akinbaye coming in. Bennett couldn't quite collect. And it's kept in pay. They've given away. Might have been better to let the ball go out. Hessenthaler coming forward again. Gets the return from Butler, but it forced him very wide. Ratcliffe keeps it in. Birmingham on the rack as Hessenthaler gets it again. It goes deep this time. Bennett is there. Needed two attempts, but eventually he gathered the ball in. Tony Pulis must be delighted by the way that his team have performed on the night, even if they haven't got anything to show for it. Good ball in, Francis with the header, and with just five minutes to go, Birmingham has stolen a vital goal. Kevin Francis, who is always dangerous in the air, as you would expect from a player that's six foot seven inches tall, rose above the defence, and he slotted it home into the corner with Moss totally beaten.